In this section, we will be seeing what kind of different users you will encounter while working on an embedded project. I know we are still going into theory, but uh, you have to go into a bit of theory and then we will start the hands on in detail. So let's see what are the types of users we have. This is normally the case in any tech project. You have end user, business user who understand how business works. He or she may not understand much about the back end or the technical aspect of it, but they know how business should run and they know what they want to see in their daily report. They understand how business should function. So these are the very critical part of any business. These are the end user who will be the consumer of your report, which you will be creating or the model you will be creating. Then there are power or key users. These are the folks who understand bit of business and bit of IT. These are in between. So they bridge the gap between end user and the IT team. So they know little bit of both the sides and they understand technical part and they also understand the business part. But they are not pro in any of these, but they understand both the aspects and they can help you in interacting with end user and understand the features that user wants and then they can convey this through technical team. And then we have IT users that is nothing but technical team you or me who will be developing all these things. So IT team normally has little knowledge of business, but they have complete knowledge of how backend works. So they work with power user or sometimes with end user itself and they develop the object which get consumed by end user. So these are the basically the type of users. So SAP also provides a lot of end user tools which end user can directly consume. But what I have normally seen is end user is normally into created reports they want ready to use reports they don't want to create stuff on their own because they are busy with their business and they don't want to deviate from them power users are someone who can still work on some of the technical aspects and they can also create some kind of reports or models sap give you those access for power users as well and it users is obviously will be doing the heavy lifting of backend so let's see uh, various apps are provided for user groups. So end user normally have a lot of options available like a multi-dimensional report. Any report basically which has a drill down is kind of a multi-dimensional report. There is no separate tool for creating multi-dimensional report but any report which has a kind of a multiple screens or multiple options to tweak the report is multi-dimensional report. Then we have smart business drill downs. You will see these are KPI driven reports which gets created. Query browser is available where user can query all the options available and then see the report. Antical list pages, again this is less technical, we will see how it works but normally end user won't be creating it. Overview pages, again end user with help of basis can directly get an overview page from SAP Fury library but that's not the normal case, they don't do it. Uh, Antical Fury apps is Fury apps which Fury guy will create but uh, they can also have a ready made apps used basically. Power user key users, they have an option of uh, query designer where they can design the query basically. So option is available, we'll see. They can also create uh, KPIs if you give them the backend uh, query, they can create KPIs and report on top of it. So option is available for power users as well. And as a IT expert, as a backend guy, you can create CDS views on top of it. All these things may happen. And we also have SAP Analytics Cloud and SAP BO as a reporting tool. So we'll be seeing analysis for Office, how you can consume your query here. And similarly, you can do it in SAC as well, but our system is not configured, so we won't be seeing that. But it's similar. I mean, there is no difference. You just give the query and then you can consume once you have the connection with SSE. So SSE is a separate tool and it has its own training. You can learn about SSE on opensap.com. They have a free course there. You can learn about SSE. They have a free trial of 90 days as well. You can learn about it. So these are the various apps and there are more actually. We'll see in details once we start the hands-on. We'll see what kind of apps are there and then you can decide what end user can do or what you can do or what power user can do because most of the cases end user don't do anything on their own. They just want the ready to use reports which you or power user can create. So we have a lot of tools. We'll see one by one what those tools are and you can decide what you want to do with them. So this was all about apps available for users and what kind of user groups we have. We'll go in next section and start with CDS views, the theory of it, and then we'll start creating CDS views and you will see how it works. Thank you.